David Jennings, former marketing director for the A400M program, participated in the creation of the aircraft from the onset. At the beginning of 1982, four leading aerospace manufacturers decided to get together to try and specify a military transport aeroplane that would replace the existing types. Launched in 1991 in response to the needs of seven European nations, a first in the military world, creating a plane that could work with every country's equipment. 20 years of negotiation were necessary to find an agreement between the seven nations and to make the A400M the symbol of European cooperation. France, UK, Germany, Spain, Turkey, and Belgium. And all of these nations, seven nations, put their name to the outline staff target, which became the document which defined the requirements and the characteristics needed in a new military transport aeroplane. So one of the key operational requirements was to be able to carry big heavy things, long distances, at high speed, but to go land on a muddy farmer's field, on an unprepared strip. Just like other Airbus planes, the parts of the A400M are all made in different countries. Different parts of the structure come from different European launch nations. The wings, which are huge, they come from the United Kingdom, from Bristol. The fuselage itself comes in different sections. So, for instance, the rear section is made in Bremen, in Germany the part of the fuselage that sits just behind the cockpit, for instance, is made in Turkey. So a whole bunch of different parts are made in different parts of Europe, and eventually they all come together here in southern Spain, and over the course of the succeeding few weeks, they slowly coalesce into the finished product. Each piece of the aircraft is brought by this Beluga, Airbus's transport plane. The pieces are then assembled in Seville, 